Hey guys, Ryzen here, back with another short tutorial on on Blender, alright? So, recently there has been some changes regarding FPX files, okay? So, I would like to tell you that about it. So, um, I recently got a few comments on my video about the CAS plugin, alright? When they import a vrm file into blender all right but i yeah so this problem is actually as a whole for any fpx files so even if you do you know export export the file as fpx from my previous tutorial okay from vrm to fpx you'll see that if we Okay, I just deleted the previous file, okay, to just to show you from the beginning. So I'm in Blender, right? So, suppose you have a model, right? It can be any model. It may not be a VRM file like you imported from my previous tutorial, but either case, do watch it, alright, because it's quite helpful. So, you see, I've done that, and then when I export as FPX, Make sure to turn patch mat patch mode to copy and turn off batch mode. All right, limit to selected objects. You need to make sure everything is selected in the scene and make sure whatever blank collection is there, just delete them, or you can manually just select them with shift select. All right, and with that, I export as FPX. All right, so now. Let's head over to the file, and if I open it, right, it shows FPX files are not supported by default. FPX security vulnerability. So there has been a change in Microsoft recently, in February 2024, that FPX support will be turned off by default. So we need to turn it on. This is quite important if you wanna, you know, import the model into, just turn this on open fpx files then the fpx file will show show now it's not showing because we need to reopen it so the thing is if you don't do make this change you won't be able to import your model as you can see it has you know it's now viewable right now it's supported so now let me try importing the model into mixamo all right so you need to do this step, okay? If you want to import your model into Mixamo or Unity or whatever. So yeah, I don't know why Microsoft did did this, but it's it was a recent change, and I, you know, I just got to know recently. All right. So just give it a moment. Okay, so you might encounter this type of error, alright? Unable to map your existing skeleton, even though it's showing in the file that the character is there, okay? So in my case, like, sometimes I had to, you know, export the model again and then try it or, you know, try to minimize my load on my laptop, which I'm using, and then upload it and then it works. So I'm actually, you know, using a face tracking application right now. So I think it's taking up too much processing data. So, you know, uh, sometimes this happens and sometimes, you know, yeah, this kind of problem is kind of annoying. So I think there is a, like, a Mixamo, Mixamo plugin for Blender, all right? I'll find out more about it. I so and then I'll let you guys know in a, another tutorial. All right. So yeah, this was it for you know, uh, 
viewing the FPX model in 3D viewer and which you know it's important before importing the model into somewhere somewhere else right so keep that in mind and yeah that's it for the tutorial and i'll see you guys next time until then bye bye